Good evening, guys. And today we're doing alternate history 2016 between Demo the Democratic nominee in 2016, uh, Hillary Clinton, Secretary Clinton, against Senator Mark Rubio, who we know was defeated by Ted Cruz and our current president, Donald Trump, who did go on to become the Republican nominee and defeat um, Secretary Clinton, the Democratic nominee. And this scenario is if this, the same thing happened on the same thing that happened with on the Democratic side happened with the Democrats, uh, but this time uh, Marco Rubio wins uh, the Republican nomination. Uh, he branches off of his uh, Minnesota victory. He's branching on to more wins and more wins, and some way somehow uh, breaks the the Trump machine. And so uh, he will do very well with minority voters again. He is a Latino. He's from Florida. His father was Cuban. He is a Cuban American, so he will he will do well with that um, with that uh, group of voters. And so this will be our starting map: 187 to 180. And actually, you could you can even put uh, Arizona in there, so 191 to 187. And actually, no, wait, 190, 191 to 191. Actually, because in my opinion, I think Maine would be safe because if the if uh, Donald Trump isn't running in with as a Republican nominee, he can't bring that appeal to rural voters that he did um, in 2016. So uh, for that reason. Uh, he will carry, of course, his home state of Florida. No one, I don't think, will dispute that. He won't carry Minnesota, though, because that state uh, wouldn't have the voter turnout it had with the president, currently Donald Trump. Same thing with Michigan. He wouldn't have that appeal of with steel workers, the white working class that um, the president has. And because of that, also, there could be many, as, w as well as Bernie Sanders voters, many Trump supporters that... Um, are either going to stay home or just vote for Hillary Clinton because because um, his man Donald Trump, their man Donald Trump was in the nominee. So for that reason, that could also help. Um, that can also hurt Marco Rubio. I'll give North Carolina for Rubio because for the benefit of the doubt, I don't believe he will say the things, some of the things that uh, Donald Trump said that made some of these states, um, solid Republican states, uh, close. Uh, but for that reason, also, I think Hillary Clinton will carry the state of Virginia as well um, as the state of Wisconsin because, again, uh, I don't I don't think Mark Rubio will be able to have that connection with uh, the white working class against steel workers, people that lost their jobs with jobs going overseas because of um, he is considered the establishment and Trump was something, the anti-establishment candidate. He even said himself that he was the established candidate when he was running against um, Jeb Bush in the Republican nomination. And for that reason, I think um, these um, some states will flip as well. So, uh, potentially. But uh, I will say now, uh, Colorado does have a high po uh, Latino population, but despite that, I don't believe there are many Republicans, um, Latino voters, that are willing to branch off to the Republicans in this state. So for that reason, I'm going to give Colorado to Mark Rubio. Though, in Nevada, I am going to give him um, Nevada. I'm going to give Mark Rubio Nevada because, because I believe, again, in this state, there are more uh, Latinos, especially in the western coast, closer to California. The Bay Area is right there. Los Angeles is right there. With a huge uh, Latino population that state, I believe. And with that state being traditionally toss-up, with uh, being a 50-50 state, it could go either way. And so, um, currently, as you see, uh, I'm actually going to say, with no, with no Republican ever winning the White House without Ohio, I'm saying, I, I believe, <clears throat> Mark Rubio will win the state of Ohio because he is going to actually do surprisingly well, in my opinion, in uh, the, southern, the southeastern part, um, the more rural areas of Ohio, the African-American vote, again, minority voters, Again, the black suppression vote, um, the suppression of black voters is going to happen, which again will also give Iowa to uh, to um, Rubio, excuse me. So, um, though um, we have um, two states left, 
Pennsylvania and New Hampshire. So, Ruby at 265, uh, Clinton at 241. So, again, Pennsylvania is a very diverse state. You have Pittsburgh on the west, you have the, Phil- the Philly suburbs on the east coast, and the center part of the of the state where it's more conservative. And um, for the benefit of the doubt, we're going to give Hillary Clinson two, um, 269 with Pennsylvania because I, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt that she will um, perform better than she did in real life in 2016. She'll do well in Philadelphia especially where turnout was low in 2016. She's going to win, um, she's going to win, excuse me, she's going to win back state, um, counties that were close that Trump won because of his appeal with, um, workers, steel workers, where, like, Allentown, Scranton, Lancaster, those places, um, and this is gonna be the first time this happens in my video, but I'm gonna predict a 269 to 269 prediction, because I am, I believe Mark Ruby has that appeal, especially he's a young, um, a young candidate who who will have energy. In fact, I think I might have even supported Mark Rubio if he was a Republican nominee in 2016. Especially, um, I believe he's going to do well with more moderate, more conservative voters. Because, yes, he is more of a moderate. He was part of the Gang of Eight um, in the Senate. And for that reason, I believe he'll do well with more moderate, more conservative voters that are willing to branch off to the other party. For that reason, I'm going to give him New Hampshire. And with that, that leaves us at a tight election. And with one little mistake either candidate does or one um, gaffe, one improvement each candidate could do, I think they could either they could make or break this election. So, yeah, this is the first time I'm going to predict this, 269 to 269. Um, my first ever prediction that, it's gonna ha- that this is going to happen. So, yeah, if you, did, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Please comment down any, any suggestions. Um, go watch last um the last video I made, which was an election night between Senator Elizabeth Warren from the state of Massachusetts and President Donald Trump. Uh, and the Democrats got um. Actually, I won't give any spoilers. Actually, so yeah, just go check out that video, please. Um, this might be the first or second video you watch, but I hope you do enjoy. I hope you go check out that other video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.